Diddy's victims are weighing in on Diddy's arrest in New York City. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you hit the like button as it helps a lot. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for the support. According to a federal indictment unsealed on Tuesday, Diddy was hit with charges of SEX trafficking by force, transportation to engage in prostitution, racketeering conspiracy, and arson. Cassie Ventura said no comment in a brief statement issued through her attorney, Douglas Wigdor. In response to the numerous inquiries we have received regarding the indictment of Sean Combs, neither Ms. Ventura nor I have any comment. The statement read, we appreciate your understanding, and if that changes, we will certainly let you know. That's right. Nothing else needs to be said. She's done a lot, okay? Now, Aubrey Arde is also weighing in. She took to Instagram where she shared a message about the purpose of justice. She wrote, The purpose of justice is to provide an ending and allow us the space to create a new chapter. Women never get this. I feel validated. Today is a win for women all over the world, not just me. Things are finally changing. She also had this to say, I never thought I would see this day. We all buried this inside of us in order to be able to keep going. And not just me, but victims you don't even know yet. We are all processing what that type of vindication can actually feel like now. Every conversation I've had with victims last night has been beyond moving on all levels. Aubrey has a long history with Diddy. She was part of the group Danity Kane between 2006 and 2008 until she was fired from the group. Dawn Richard is another Danity Kane member who has also reacted to Diddy's arrest and indictment. Days after filing a lawsuit accusing Diddy of manipulating, terrorizing, and sexually abusing her, Dawn Richard spoke out on Diddy's latest legal troubles through a statement by her attorney. We applaud the grand jury's new indictment of Sean Combs, which is strikingly similar to the federal complaint we filed last week on behalf of our brave client, Dawn Richard, Lisa Bloom said in a statement. Given the brutal beating of Sean Combs' girlfriend caught on video and the eight people who have now accused him of abuse in court filings, including Dawn, this arrest seems long overdue. Diddy's arrest is a big moving day for victims, but an arrest is only the beginning. May justice be delivered to Mr. Combs. Her statement concluded, we implore other accusers to come forward in solidarity and join us in this fight. The indictment states Diddy allegedly abused, threatened, and caused women and others around him. Some of the alleged incidents which the indictment claimed were carried to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct date back to 2009. And um, 50 Cent also took a shot at Diddy and his 1,000 bottles of lube and baby oil found in the federal raid. <laughs> 50 Cent posted a picture on Instagram from his appearance on the Drew Barry show and he captured the picture with this. Here I am keeping good company with Drew Barrymore and I don't have 1,000 bottles of lube at the house. <laughs> wow. Troll on 50. Troll on. We're not mad. Oh, by the way, you guys, the judge just denied bail for Diddy. He will remain in custody. The feds do not want Diddy to be allowed out on bail. The U.S. Attorney Damian Williams says his office believes he is a flat risk and is also a danger to society. Yes, that he is. He really is. Diddy is facing a minimum sentence of 15 years and maximum of life in prison. And do you know that Damian pled not guilty to all the charges against him? Wow. He's going to take a plea deal. He's going to take a plea deal. If not, he's done. 
He's done. I mean, he's done already, but he's gonna take a plea deal. He could say not guilty for now, but yeah, it's gonna change. It's going to change. If he doesn't want life, he is going to take a plea deal. Like Ghislaine Maxwell. Yeah, he may get 25 years. I don't know, but I think he should spend the rest of his life in prison. Yeah, he's what, 55 years old? And he spent, the, he spent those 55 years terrorizing, abusing, and all these nasty things. So why not? Why not spend the rest of his life behind bars? He has nothing else to offer, nothing good to offer the world. So why not spend the remaining of his life behind bars? He's done enough in his 55 years. He's done a lot, a lot of evil, a lot of evil things to people, okay? So, yeah, I say lock him up and throw away the key. So, yeah. Um, Jay-Z's next. <laughs> so, people are whispering, right? Insiders are whispering to expect a shocking arrest of a major rap figure in connection with Diddy's case. That sound like Jay-Z. We all been saying this. So, yeah. Stay tuned, you guys. This is, this is gonna be the biggest case. Oh, my gosh. If something... I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna save all that for another time. You guys, thank you for tuning in. Please like. Make sure you subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.